Hello everyone, and welcome to another video from our channel, Immortal News. In this video, we will be bringing you a list of famous celebrities who have passed away today, July 20th, and in the last few days. Along with that, we've got some special tributes to share, so stay tuned, and if you appreciate our work and want to support us in telling these unique stories, please give this video a like. It really does mean the world to us. Now let's begin our journey. Number 12. Kevin Mitnick, from infamous hacker to trusted cybersecurity expert. Kevin Mitnick, once dubbed the world's most wanted hacker, passed away at the age of 59 on July 20th due to complications from pancreatic cancer. Known for his notorious crime spree in the 1990s, Mitnick used his skills to infiltrate the nation's phone, cell networks, and computer systems, leading to his arrest by the FBI in 1995. Mitnick developed a fascination with the inner workings of telephone companies at a young age. This curiosity blossomed into a career as a hacker, infiltrating corporate computer systems and absconding with thousands of data files and credit card numbers. After serving prison time, Mitnick transformed his past into a force for good. He was released in 2000 and began a new career as a cybersecurity consultant, writer, and public speaker co-founding the training company No B4. Mitnick's life took a path less traveled, from a problematic hacking whiz to a respected figure in cybersecurity. His transformation is a testament to his understanding of computer networks and his ability to adapt his skills to a rapidly changing digital landscape. In his 2011 memoir, Ghost in the Wires, Mitnick provided an insightful glimpse into his life, challenging many of the accusations against him and highlighting his pursuit of code over monetary gain. He leaves behind his wife, Kimberly Mitnick, who is pregnant with their first child. His life serves as a remarkable story of redemption and transformation in the realm of digital security. Tributes to Kevin Mitnick. Number 11. Nick Benedict, a pillar of soap opera drama and daytime television icon. The world of soap operas mourned the loss of one of its stalwarts, Nick Benedict, who passed away on July 14, 2023 at the age of 77, following complications from an emergency spinal surgery in Arizona. Benedict was known for his impactful performances on some of the most popular soaps, such as All My Children, The Young and the Restless, and days of our lives. Benedict's noteworthy portrayal of Phil Brent, husband to Susan Lucci's Erica Kane, on All My Children, won him many fans. He joined the show in 1973, assuming the role from Richard Hatch, and remained a pivotal part of the series until 1978. His compelling performances in his final season earned him a Daytime Emmy nomination for Outstanding Actor in a Daytime Drama Series in 1979. Moving on from All My Children, he brought life to the character of Michael Scott on The Young and the Restless in 1981, and later portrayed Curtis Reed on Days of Our Lives, appearing in 93 episodes between 1993 to 2001. Beyond the realm of daytime dramas, Benedict showcased his versatile acting skills on classic shows like Mission Impossible, Hawaii Five-O, Knott's Landing, Medical Center, The Dukes of Hazard and Tales from the Dark Side. He also appeared in 30 episodes of Tribes and 7 of Santa Barbara. He is survived by his wife of 22 years, Ginger. As of now, no memorial plans have been shared. Throughout his remarkable career, Benedict left an indelible mark on soap opera history, delivering performances that touched hearts and kept audiences riveted for decades. Tributes to Nick Benedict Number 10. Mike Hammond, an indelible impact on British ice hockey. Mike Hammond, renowned British ice hockey star, tragically passed away at the age of 33 in a car accident in Canada on July 19th. Affectionately known as Hammy, he was a celebrated figure in the elite ice hockey league, 
with stellar performances for Nottingham Panthers, Glasgow Clan, Manchester Storm and Coventry Blaze, along with teams overseas in Canada, Germany and Denmark. Hammond was a stalwart of the sport at the international level. He represented Great Britain with distinction at the Ice Hockey World Championships in 2019 and 2021, contributing significantly to Team GB's success. As a vital part of the British ice hockey landscape, Hammond's passion, skill, and sportsmanship left an indelible mark on the sport. His sudden demise has left his former clubs, teammates, and fans heartbroken. Yet his legacy will endure through his substantial contributions to ice hockey in Britain and his status as a cherished team member. Mike Hammond underscore his significant impact on the sport, his camaraderie, and his enduring legacy. His contribution to British ice hockey will continue to inspire future generations of athletes. Tributes to Mike Hammond. Number 9. James Reston Jr. Chronicler of political drama and key architect of Nixon's apology. James Reston Jr., renowned historian and novelist, best known for his pivotal role in the David Frost interviews that led to Richard M. Nixon's admission of guilt in the Watergate scandal, passed away at his home in Chevy Chase, Maryland, on July 19th at the age of 82, and his cause of death was pancreatic cancer. His profound interest in historical and timely nonfiction saw him pen over 18 books, four of which were adapted into plays. His pivotal book, Perfectly Clear, Nixon from Whittier to Watergate, published in 1973, urged Nixon's impeachment, establishing Reston Jr. as a key figure in the unfolding Watergate scandal. Frost recruited Reston Jr. as a researcher for a series of interviews with Nixon, for which Reston Jr. drafted a comprehensive 96-page interrogation strategy memo. His diligent research facilitated Frost in extracting Nixon's admission, I let the American people down, a momentous event watched by 45 million Americans. Reston Jr.'s commitment to the literary world was not confined to politics. He wrote poignantly about his personal experiences in Fragile Innocence, a father's memoir of his daughter's courageous journey, as well as exploring historical controversies in works like A Rift in the Earth, Art, Memory, and the Fight for a Vietnam War Memorial. Reston Jr. will be remembered as a luminary who lived the literary life he always aspired to, leaving behind a rich legacy of influential work that continues to resonate. Tributes to James Reston Jr. Number 8. Lou Perkins, a guiding force and defining legacy in college athletics. Lou Perkins, the longtime college administrator and former Kansas athletic director, died on July 19th at the age of 78. The cause was not specified, though Perkins had been diagnosed with Parkinson's disease. Throughout his career, Perkins made a profound impact on several athletic programs, leaving a legacy characterized by transformation and growth. Perkins first displayed his passion for athletics as a basketball player for the Iowa Hawkeyes from 1965 to 1967. He transitioned into administration, serving in pivotal roles at the University of South Carolina Aiken, Penn, Wichita State, and Maryland before finally reaching Kansas University. Under Perkins' leadership, the Kansas Jayhawks football program and men's basketball team tasted significant success. His tenure at Kansas, however, ended amid scandal involving the illegal reselling of athletic tickets. Despite these controversies, Perkins's dedication to the student-athletes was unwavering and widely appreciated. The multiple national championships that teams won under his stewardship, coupled with his service on influential NCAA committees and his election to the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame Board of Trustees, underscore his remarkable influence in the world of college sports. Tributes to Lou Perkins.
Number 7. Ipe Kuri, a celebrated legacy in Japanese manga and animation Ipe Kuri, the renowned Japanese manga artist and former president of Tatsunoko Production, passed away on July 1st, leaving behind an extraordinary legacy. Kuri was instrumental in shaping the landscape of manga and anime, both as an artist and as a leader in the industry. Kuri was greatly influenced by the American comics he encountered during the Allied occupation post-World War II. This passion drove him to pursue a career as a manga artist, making his debut in 1959 with Abar Teng. Over the years, Kuri authored several other significant works, including Maksan Shiro and Judo Boy. In 1962, he co-founded Tatsunoko Productions with his brothers Kenji and Tatsuo, where he worked in various roles, including as an animation producer, director, and designer. In 1987, he became the president of the company, further solidifying his influence in the industry. Throughout his career, Kuri was involved in the creation of numerous successful anime series like Space Ace, Speed Racer, and Science Ninja Team Gatchaman. His work extended beyond artistry to being an executive producer and series director, cementing his name as a powerhouse in the world of anime. Kuri's efforts were recognized in 2005 when he was awarded the Special Award for Lifetime Contributions to Anime at the 10th Animation Kobe event. This honor underscored the immense impact of his work both in Japan and around the world. Tributes to Ipe Kuri. Number 6. Mirko Novosel, a pillar of Yugoslavian basketball and a remarkable legacy in coaching. Mirko Novosel, legendary basketball coach who stood tall as one of the greatest figures in the history of Yugoslavian basketball, passed away at the age of 86 on July 20th. The Croatian coach, renowned for his tactical acumen and leadership, was an honored member of both the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame and the FIBA Hall of Fame. Throughout his illustrious career, Novosel served as the head coach of the Yugoslavian national team during the 1970s and 80s, guiding them to gold in the 1973 and 1975 Eurobasket, and silver at the 1974 World Cup and 1976 Olympic Games. His coaching mastery also earned them bronze at the 1984 Olympics and the 1993 Eurobasket with the Croatian national team. His impactful contributions at the club level cannot be overlooked, leading Sabona Zagreb to consecutive EuroLeague championship titles in 1985 and 1986, and Saporta Cups in 1982 and 1987. Novosel was honored with an induction into the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame in 2007, followed by the FIBA Hall of Fame in 2010, cementing his legacy as a leading light in the global basketball arena. His impact and influence will forever resonate within Yugoslavian, Croatian, and Zagreb basketball communities, earning him a fitting tribute as the greatest from Croatia's head coach, Ako Petrovic. Tributes to Mirko Novosel. Number 5. Lajos Balasovic, a resounding voice in Hungarian art and culture. Lajos Balasovic, an acclaimed actor, theater director, and steward of Hungarian culture, passed away at the age of 76 on July 19th. Balasovic began his illustrious career in the arts during his high school years. After graduating from the University of Theater and Film Arts in 1969, he left an indelible mark on Hungary's theatrical and film landscape. Balatsovitz offered memorable performances across several theaters, including Madak Theater and Vigzinhaz. He joined the National Theater in 1991 and directed the Budapest Jatekszin from 1992 until 2012. As a film actor, Balatsovitz became a regular of Miklos Jongso, impressing audiences in films like Fenya Selek and Serelmem, Elektra, he also worked with renowned directors such as Karoli Mak, Marta Mesaros, and Sandor Sara. In recognition of his exceptional work, Balasovic received the Bela Balas Prize in 1982 
was elected Emeritorious Artist in 1987 and in 2015 became a perpetual member of the Society of Immortals. The city of Nagikanitsa honored him as an honorary citizen in 2020, and in 2022, Balasovitz earned the title Actor of the Nation. His legacy as a stalwart of Hungarian art and culture, along with his influential contributions to theater and film, will continue to inspire future generations. The Ministry of Culture and Innovation recognizes Balasovitz as a revered figure whose passing is a loss for the nation. Tributes to Lajos Balasovitz. Number 4. Andrea Purgatori, a tireless advocate for truth and guardian of journalism. Andrea Purgatori, Italian journalist, passed away at age 70 on July 20th. Best known for his tenacious commitment to uncovering the truth, Purgatory's life's work illuminated some of the most opaque mysteries of our time, including the infamous Ustica disaster in 1980, a case that remained central to his investigative journalism career. A staple at Corriere della Sera for many years, Purgatory was later welcomed as a crucial contributor to television network LA7. His boundless passion for truth and unwavering commitment to the principles of journalism left an indelible mark on viewers, fellow journalists, and friends alike. His reporting ranged from domestic crime to international war zones, evidencing an incredible versatility. He was dedicated to defending the rights of victims and their families, embodying the true essence of empathetic journalism. Purgatory's name will forever be linked to the relentless pursuit of truth, and his commitment to unveiling cover-ups and manipulations in high-profile investigations left a lasting legacy in the realm of investigative journalism. His infectious passion for journalism inspired generations of journalists, and his untimely departure has left a void that will be difficult to fill. Throughout his life, Purgatory remained an exemplary beacon of integrity, resilience, and tireless dedication to his craft. Tributes to Andrea Purgatory Now it's time to remember the legends who passed away in the past years. Number 3. Chuck E. Weiss, an eclectic blues musician and unforgettable character in the heart of Los Angeles. Chuck E. Weiss, blues musician, club owner, and larger-than-life character whose romantic life inspired Ricky Lee Jones's breakout hit, Chuck E.'s In Love, passed away on July 20, 2021, at the age of 76. Weiss moved to Los Angeles in the middle 70s, carrying with him a deep knowledge of obscure jazz and early R&B. His collaborations with his friend, singer-songwriter Tom Waits, and romantic escapades with Ricky Lee Jones made him a notable figure in the West Hollywood folk club scene. In 1979, Jones's debut album opened with Chuck E's In Love, a song inspired by Weiss's romantic adventures, earning a Grammy Award nomination for Song of the Year in 1980. The song immortalized Weiss, yet also marked the beginning of his estrangement from Jones and Waits. Weiss was known for his gravel-voiced, shaggy-haired performances, embodying a blues man with a borscht belt sense of humor. Besides being a performer, he was also a club owner. He co-owned the famous 90s-era nightclub, The Viper Room, with actor Johnny Depp. Described by Jones as a thrilling guy and a disaster for a time, as thrilling people often are, Weiss lived a life as vibrant and unpredictable as his music, leaving an indelible mark on the music scene of Los Angeles. Tributes to Chuck E. Weiss. Number 2. Françoise Arnault a celebrated actress of French cinema and theater. Françoise Arnoux, a beloved French actress recognized for her captivating performances during the 1950s, passed away in Paris on July 20, 2021, at the age of 90. Born on June 3, 1931, in Constantine, French Algeria, Arnoux began her film career after studying drama in Paris. Director Willy Rozier noticed her talent, 
and offered her a significant role in the film Les Pavés. Arnoul became a prominent figure in French cinema, starring in notable films such as Forbidden Fruit, French Can Can, People of No Importance, and Jean Cocteau's Testament of Orpheus. She made her American film debut in Companions of the Night. Arnoul continued to dazzle audiences in her later years, transitioning to television roles in various TV movies and miniseries, and performing character parts with the same vivacity that marked her early career. She published an autobiography, Animal du de Bonheur, in 1995. Throughout her career, Arnoul worked with renowned directors and actors, bringing to life a multitude of complex characters and leaving an indelible mark on French cinema and theater. She will be remembered for her vibrant on-screen presence, her dedication to her craft, and her contribution to the golden age of French cinema. Tributes to Françoise Arnoul. Number 1. Jim Seals, the melodious voice behind iconic hits. The music world mourns the loss of Jim Seals, a gifted musician and one half of the iconic duo Seals and Crofts, who passed away on June 6, 2022, at the age of 79. He will be fondly remembered for his hit single Summer Breeze, a blend of harmonious singing and spiritually inclined lyrics that encapsulated the spirit of the 1970s. Born on October 17, 1942, in Sydney, Texas, Seals was part of a musical household that fostered his early love for music. He learned the guitar and saxophone, exhibiting his virtuosity in the Texas State Fiddle Championship. He later formed the successful duo Seals and Crofts with Daryl Dash Crofts, introducing elements of bluegrass, country, and jazz to their music. Their other memorable tracks include Diamond Girl, and we may never pass this way, again, all of which demonstrated a profound spiritual depth influenced by the duo's devotion to the Baha'i faith. However, they faced backlash with their album Unborn Child, which reflected their anti-abortion stance. Despite the controversy, the album still made the U.S. top 20. After their commercial peak, Seals moved to Costa Rica, where he ran a coffee farm and raised his three children with his wife, Ruby Jean Anderson. He reunited with Crofts in the 90s for some concert dates, and in 2004 they recorded a new album, Traces. Jim Seals's music transcended the realm of easy listening, offering an enriching blend of melody, lyricism, and spirituality. His voice provided the soundtrack to a generation and will continue to resonate through the ages. His legacy is kept alive by his wife Ruby and their children, Juliet, Joshua, and Sutherland and by his sister Renee and half-brother Eddie. His impact on music and his resonating voice will be missed by many. Tributes to Jim Seals. We kindly ask you to honor the lives of these remarkable individuals by showing your support and appreciation. Please like this video and continue watching as we pay respect to the legacies they've left behind.